SA Tide has played a big role in shifting the perceptions in South Africa, in government, in business, and in society in general about you know what what are the costs and benefits of a renewable energy future, and uh, you know our analysis shows that uh, you can move to a very very substantial share of renewables at essentially zero cost or or even employment and growth benefits, and that's a very very big shift from what was the case uh, so many years ago. Uh, that was driven by technical advance in wind generation, solar generation, and in what's called systems integration, how we get supply to meet demand. Many of the conclusions from the long-term adaptation strategies are, are essentially holding, but we're looking at uh, what are the implications for growth? What are the implications for fiscus? And a lot of what we're doing uh, involves the kinds of uncertainties that climate change generates. We don't know exactly what the climate future will look like. And so coming up with relatively robust responses to climate change is really quite important. So one of the things that we've highlighted and continue to highlight is South Africa has a very advanced water infrastructure. And that uh, water infrastructure is extremely important in the context of climate change when we're expecting you know, more extreme events, higher heat, uh, more severe droughts. And the ability to shift water around is a remarkable stabilizer. And so that infrastructure is really quite important. One of the key things we sort of did was that we enhanced the energy economic model, which is very useful for energy policy and mitigation policy analysis. So this is really a tool that can be used beyond the SA Thai project. We looked at the role of renewable energy in South Africa within the energy system. The key findings from the work that we did was that solar PV and wind play a key role in power generation for South Africa in the future. And if we think about it, the power sector is really one of the largest single emitters in the country. So if we're serious about reducing emissions, it's really a sector that we do need to tackle. One of the advantages of having cleaner power is that it allows for other sectors also to start taking up cleaner technology options. Mm -hmm.